Hey guys, what's up? How to me your team? I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix that Android lag on devices that are really old. Let's begin this video. So maybe you guys have an Android device that's really laggy, really slow, the battery stinks. I'll try to fix that today by showing you guys easy steps to fix that. It's pretty simple for all of you guys who have Jelly Bean and have the most recent device like the Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2. You probably don't need to watch this video because you're not necessary. Your phone is fine, no lag whatsoever. But for, for those who don't have Jelly Bean or have ICS and have uh, Gingerbread, watch this video and we're going to fix that. So first up, make sure to have your software, firmware up to date. What does that mean? That means you want to check to see if there's updates for your device. Most people know about this, but if you don't, it's probably because no one has ever told you about it. So you just want to go to About Phone, your settings, About Phone, then you want to go into your About Phone notifications and check for updates. Now mine's different because I have a ROM on it, um, but if you have an updates, there should be a button where it says check for updates and you check it, and it should check for the updates, and it should tell you if there's an update or not. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys that some really cool beginner apps to fix the lag on your device. Now, first up, I have Lag Fix. It's uh, free, or you get the full version, which costs two dollars. The full version just gives you ad-free and it gives you a schedule. It tells you a little info about the app, Lag Fix. I'll show you that in a little bit, and then you can have schedules in order to have it scheduled at whenever you want it to happen. So it tells you every memory chip requires trimming. It's like defragmentation for hardware devices but it's different for chips so it's basically going to trim your device in the storage in order to make it faster because it needs to do that over time because when you overuse it then your your device starts to lag like it does here. I uh, try to select all of them system data and cache you want to run it and once you run it it's going to confirm that you have a root make sure you have root and once it's done it's going to trim all your devices it's going to say finished hooray some devices might need a reboot, so me, so make sure you reboot your device once you reboot device. You may see a little lag fix. So next up I have SE Fix, so this is different. It allows the I.O. scheduler to make better decisions and combine more writes. Some users have reported that an improvement under heavy I.O. and it basically imp improves the way your Android device reads your storage on the I.O. If you're doing heavy like transferring over files and stuff like that, it's going to fix it. So what you want to do is just grab the little circle there and drag it all the way to the end. And there you go. Then you want to apply on boot, save changes. And once you do that, you just want to reboot your Android device. And it's going to run smoother because it's going to check the I.O. faster and it's going to schedule it more. So another way to fix your Android device lag is Auto Start. It's a really nice app. It costs $1.50 though, but what this app does is when your phone boots up, it sometimes tends to lag a lot because it's starting up all the apps all over again um, and it could take a while to start them up, but maybe you don't want some apps being started up at the same time. Here you can check what apps start up right after you reboot your Android device. Once it's booting up, these are all the things that are booting up once my device is turned on, so all these apps are being turned on. Maybe I don't want my Dolphin browser to boot up while I do that. So all you have to do is tap on it and it's going to bring up this menu. It's going to say disable application info or find it in the app store which is the play store same thing. Disable it. Disable only comes with the uh, us. Disable only comes with root users only so if you have root then you can do that. If you don't have root make sure you root your Android device or if you don't have root then just make sure you uninstall that app. And there you go. Cross that out and it's automatically not going to pop up once I boot my Android device. The last thing I can say to you guys for all you guys who have Android lag is just uninstall all those apps that you have running in the background that you mainly don't use. The best way to uninstall apps that you don't use is go into your settings, applications, then here you're going to see all the downloaded ones. So you just want to choose on one that you don't want and tap on it and then click uninstall and it's going to automatically choose uninstall. So if I click OK, it automatically uninstalls it and it's no longer on your Android device anymore. And that does tend to make your Android device faster because it's not running in the background as much anymore. So there you go. Hopefully you guys like that video. And maybe hopefully I can fix your lag on your device because sometimes Andrews do lag. Wow. How many times I said lag in this video? That's a lot. See you guys in the next video. Kapow!